What's up y'all welcome back to my channel i don't know why i'm so excited y'all but for this video we're going to be installing this wig from eunice all the information will be in the description box below so this is their 24 inch wear and go pre-cut lace 6 by 4.5 closure reddish brown curly wig it's a mouthful but as you can see it has pre-cut lace you can see the lace is pre-cut <laughs> it has um baby hairs right here already cut into the wig for you to make it super simple for install i'm just trying to show you a quick close up here um so for those of you that hate doing baby hairs they already did it for you um so this has the combs on the sides um an elastic band that's removable um and then also it has this um film i gotta find the name for this y'all but this whatever this is around the perimeter of the wig to keep it from like slipping like a no slip grip type thing and then also you can see the inside of the wig is breathable because this is their air wig which is great for summer and for those hot heads so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so i'm just gonna go on and slide <laughs> slide i don't even know what that was y'all i'm just gonna slide my bonnet off um don't judge me for how my hair looks right now i i've been through a lot okay but as you can see my edges right here they were already laid down with some um what do i use that little edge wax this is wax y'all it is not dandruff it is wax from my previous install so i gotta go on and slick that back but the good news is i don't have to apply any more wax to my edges i can use just the old residue and slick it back and it sounds real gross when i say it like that but anyways so my hair was in a, a v part wig which is why i already had some like leave out left out at the top in my edges so i'm just going to go ahead and braid my leave out back the back of my hair um, is already in these braids just going straight to the back um however you decide to handle your hair on the inside of your wig is your business and is up to you you can do a ponytail a low ponytail i would recommend ponytail you can do a wrap you can do braids you can do whatever but whatever to make your hair flat but now I'm just taking um, a couple of bobby pins per usual and pinning up my braids just so it can look neat. Even though nobody's going to see it, I will see it and it'll bother my spirit if it's not. And plus it'll feel uncomfortable, so I just like to use my bobby pins to lay everything down. Now I'm just taking my wig and cap. It's the HD kind. And I'm just going to slide this over my hair. I like using the HD kinds. Um for these wig installs because they're hd and it's see-through and it's like you can't see it as much underneath that lace um yeah so i'm gonna now take my mineral makeup unfortunately <laughs> i have not gotten more cream makeup yet but i'm just gonna take my mineral powder makeup and put this all over my wig cap i hate using powder makeup on my wig cap especially the hd ones because all that powder just gets on my hair and now i'm gonna have to rewash my hair again and now I'm taking my lace tint in the color dark brown. I got this from the beauty supply store. It was na 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 na. Spraying the lace. Um, I think this lace comes with bleach knots. I may be lying, y'all. I don't think so. Um, either way, I'm spraying this lace with this lace tint, as you can see right here, to make it match my complexion a little more. And now I'm just adjusting the elastic band. I'm going to keep the elastic band on. I usually take it off, but I'm going to keep it on for this install. And voila, just like that, sliding the wig on was just that easy. As you can see, like the lace is already cut, your baby hairs is already done. And most of this is already done for you, to be completely honest. Like the sides are lifting a little bit, but I'm going to show you how to fix that a little bit later. But besides that, if you wanted to throw on this hair like this and go, you absolutely could. Now, am I? No. We're going to add some little finishing touches, but honestly this is uh the start of a really great relationship with this wig and also since it is a glueless wig um i do want to give it a glueless wig test so this wig will withstand all your bank head bounces all your waves all your crazy dance moves anything that you got going on you want to throw some spins in it 
it ain't coming off. This is a very, very sturdy wig. Um, so next, the next thing that I want to do is fix these baby hairs on the sides. Because as you can see, the way my hairline is, it lifts just a little bit. So I'm going to fix it with some edges. And, and now I'm just taking my old eco style gel and I say old because I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel but I'm gonna take that and just swoop my edges on the sides you don't have to use gel you can use your edge product of choice mine just happens to be gel Now I'm just using my spritz to help melt this lace into my skin. Now this part right here is completely optional. You honestly could have just laid it down with just a wig band um, and not use this at all. But I wanted to use my spritz, okay? Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to take my blow dryer to dry the spritz just a little bit. And then I'm going to wrap it. Shoo, now it is time to tame these curls. No, the curls are actually already tamed, but I just wanna like define them and make them look a little bit better because this ain't it. So um, to help me work with it, because it's a lot of hair, I'm splitting my hair into sections. Um, you can do whatever works for you, but splitting it in half, really in fours, like I split it in half and then I split each half in half. Um, and that helps me just be able to work with a little bit of hair at a time because it's simple like that um so now I'm just gonna take my water bottle and completely drench the hair like as much as I can running my fingers through it and also using my brush just to make sure it's completely drenched and then I'm gonna go in with my curling mousse from um, cream of nature and I'm gonna put this on the hair and comb through it as well and that is all I do to define my curls Now I'm just using the diffuser part of my below dryer and diffusing my hair. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know what it does. I just see other people do it, so I do it as well. I think it like helps define your curls or helps like dry them, uh, I guess. I mean, they were dry when I was done, so I guess that's what it does. Um, and then after that, I am done like defining the curls. So this is pretty much the finished look. I flipped it over to the side because I wanted to see what a flip over would look like with this closure. Um, and now I'm just taking some of that same powder makeup and putting it along my hairline to kind of like um, hide that line of demarcation. Um, and the curls look super, super fluffy and cute and thick, which is exciting. Um, but just a couple of more finishing touches. The next thing that I'm doing is putting some concealer onto my part. I'm using my NYX concealer and my flat angled brush. And then I'm taking some of this um, gloss spray from Afoji. And this spray goes a look, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just spraying some onto my hands and then fingering it through my hair as as opposed to spraying it directly on my hair um, because I noticed that it can weigh your hair down and nobody wants heavy hair that's not cute but yeah that's it for this style this hair is really cute light and fluffy and really easy to install I love that the lace is already pre-cut and you literally just have to put it on and style it and also the best part is that it is a hundred percent glueless um, all you have to do is uh, do a couple of touch-ups honestly just to blend it with your own scalp and your hair and that's it um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Adios till next time